posted about the school blacklist on Reddit and I got three really common and really interesting responses. Number one, the school isn't complying with the blacklist, just contact the local arbitration bureau and that will solve all your problems. Yeah, this reminds me of when people used to always just say contact C is equally helpful. Yes, the, the Labor Arbitration Bureau maybe eventually will solve your problems, but I was working and there wouldn't be all these problems to begin with because the schools would just be scared of the, the Labor Arbitration Bureau. My point is that if that was enough, then why does this keep happening? Why is this a nationwide issue with schools holding under release letters or, or fighting at the end of contracts? For example, now someone's finding help from me. They've been in a legal contract dispute with their school for months and months, and that means they're unable to work. Their wife is pregnant. Another one has been in a year-long legal dispute with their school. Cool. So yes, contacting the Labor Arbitration Bureau can help, but especially if you're not allowed to work at the same time, or if you're only fighting over a small amount of money or etc. This is definitely not the only answer that's needed. Part of why I propose the blacklist. It's a matter of expats not understanding their legal rights. I run several groups and organizations and am in touch with lots of people who make it their business to know expat legal rights, and they don't have any more advice than I did. They're like, uh, negotiate, uh, Labor Bureau, uh, eventually lawsuits. Yeah, it's the same for for everyone. And I think expats who don't know their legal rights get taken advantage of more. When they do know their legal rights, they still end up in a really problematic position. Finally, number three, just get a sternly written letter from a lawyer and then the school will know they are in the wrong and they will cooperate. Yes, this is hilarious. And it's very common, actually. I have lots of expats. So can you just send me the law the school is violating and I will show it to them and everything will be okay? Yeah, that's not how it works. And maybe contacting a lawyer is a good idea, but that sternly written letter will cost you thousands and thousands of RMB and accomplish absolutely nothing. So to all you fucking know-it-alls on Reddit, <laughs> maybe you guys should spend like a few months and months and months dealing with the exact same issue of, of employers refusing to use uh, teachers at the end of their contract. Cheers. Kyle from Expat Rates.